If you want to be getting the top grades, you need to be able to rearrange equations in physics. So here is a simple three-part equation. There are several ways you can do this. You can either learn the triangles or you can learn how to rearrange them properly. I'm going to show you how to rearrange them properly. So here I would like to have mass as the subject of the formula. We have force equals mass times acceleration. Now there is a little times in here and we need to do the opposite. So mass is currently times acceleration. We need to divide by acceleration. So we have force divided by acceleration equals mass times acceleration divided by acceleration. Now A divided by A cancel each other out so we end up with force over acceleration equals mass. Slightly more complicated one now. I would like E as the subject of the formula. Currently E is divided by T. We need to do the opposite to it so that is times by T. So then we have P times T equals E divided by t times t. The divided by and the times by cancel each other out. So then we have p times t equals e. Here we have weight equals mass times gravity. I would like you to make mass the subject of the formula. Mass is currently times by gravity. The opposite of that is dividing by gravity. So we need to do that by both sides and we get weight divided by gravity equals mass. Here we have acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. I would like us to have u as the subject of the formula. Now u is currently divided by t, so we need, first thing we need to do opposite that is times by t. So we have a times t equals v minus u. U is currently um, being taken away from V. V is on the right hand side. We need it on the left hand side. So we need to minus V. So A T minus V equals minus U. And we need um, U to be positive. So we need to times everything by minus 1. So that is minus A T plus V equals U. Same equation again, but I would like us to have t as the subject of the formula. So everything is currently divided by t, so the first thing we need to do is times it by t. So then we get at equals v minus u. A slightly easier one than the last one, because t is currently times by a, so we just need to divide that by a. Then we get t equals v minus u divided by a. Now it's really really important you know how to do these properly because you won't be able to get those higher grades unless you can. If you want to have a go at my multiple choice quiz on this you can join my online classroom. Thanks for watching, I really hope you found this helpful. Visit my website primrosekitten.com for loads of workbooks, loads of updates and all of the videos in order. Any comments, requests or corrections down below please. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook to get updates as well. If you want to say thank you and support me making more videos you can visit Conos and give me a donation. If you become a supporter you'll get access to weekly multiple choice quizzes which will help you improve. A super supporter can request videos. And a superstar supporter can also have access to all the downloadable materials.